So now you just told us about your your nonprofit, okay? Uh, before I came to this country, even after I've been, I've been here for several years, I I didn't actually know much about what nonprofits do. Today, I, I, I do, okay? I work with two, okay? Uh, and uh, I have friends who are in the space. So I know what the, the impact, the, the work they do and the impact of that work uh, to, to make this society viable, okay? So, but in Africa, we, most of our, of our people do not actually know what they do. Okay, and we see uh, one foreign NGO who just that come and give us some things. But tell, tell my audience what nonprofits, charities, mm. NGOs are mm. supposed to do mm. for, for, the, for the society and why mm. they are important. Thank you very much. So, um, so I haven't been in this space for four years. I started consulting on the side because I, I just had, a, I, I hated seeing, you know, you go on Instagram, you see people handing out rice or handing out biscuits and capricorns to people on the streets. That's yeah. dehumanizing. Mm. And you record it and you put it, that's very dehumanizing. That's, mm, 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 that's not it. That's not even ethics of, or you see people trying to tell a story of somebody they're helping and they dehumanize the people. Mm. The function of a non-profit, a non-profit is supposed to be able to find a niche in the plenty problems in the world. Yeah. The United Nations postulate, promulgated the 17 SDGs in 2010, where they created 17 goals to be able to make the world a better place. So there's zero hunger, no poverty, gender equality, education, climate action, decent living up until 17. As yeah. a nonprofit, you must be able to fit your course into one of these goals yeah. or multiples of this goal. That's number one. Number two, the problem you are solving, you cannot solve a problem based on assumption and presumption. There's what you call community needs assessment, mm. where you engage the relevant stakeholders that involves the people who are going to be benefiting and the people who are going to give you resources. You engage these stakeholders and design a solution that meets their need. A practical case study. We've been working with the IDP camps now in Benway for about three, two, three two, going on three years. And, you know, when we started off, we started off, you know, just trying to support them and do the things we could do. But, we, when we did our community needs assessment, we found out that water was a huge crisis in the community. Families five, trek five miles to get water. The water they get is muddy water to drink. Wow. So we thought to ourselves, look, 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 look. We, before we assume that water is all these people need, let's engage them. So I traveled myself and a couple of the team, we traveled by road for five hours to Benway State, yeah. Abu Gaji community. We spent, I think, three nights in Benway State. We didn't shower for two days because wow. it was the most, yes, that was the sacrifice we had to pay to be able to understand the intricate need of this community. And we're able to engage with them. And they gave us advice, told us when to give the water, how to give the water, where to put the water. So you need to, first of all, connect to one, one or multiple 17 SDGs, understand the problems you're solving, not from a place of assumption or presumption, but by engaging with the relevant stakeholders. And finally, when designing the solution, ensure that you have a sustainable system. It's yeah. one thing to give people bread, but you must know how to teach them how to fish. So whatever course you're doing, you need to ask yourself, how do we? How does this thing become sustainable? If you pay yeah. the tuition of a child for three times, how can you make that child continue to go to school? Is yeah. it possible you're going to create an after-school system? Is it possible to give the family business grants? Is it possible to open a farmland and cause the families to start to farm so that the children can be in school? So... I started a consulting firm, ID Consulting, where I started to work with people who are looking to start, people that are rich, Mr. Ikeni, they have so much money and they want to open non-profits in the name of their mother. But because they have a lot of money, they just want to go and be buying cars, buying rice, buying... No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's why you need an you need to sit with an expert to guide you on how to design something that in 10 years, when you look back in hindsight, you can say, wow, we've done quite a lot. So 
the role of non-profits in the world really is to cover up the gaps really not even play the role of the government really it's supposed to be a collaborative effort yeah. where we work together to make the world a better place so where the government cannot feel in we come in to fill that place and the government says oh wow there's a team of young people working in church industry how can we support you guys we know we can't cover this aspect but how can we come in to help you so we fill in for each other that's the role and before you know what we will indeed build a utopic society. And I believe very well that we're going to get there by the grace of God. Wow. <laughs> well, you guys are, are doing a good job. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, there's no Ethiopian society. And uh, uh, think about it. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there's, not, there, there's none anywhere. Well, in reality, there is no more. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. So, yes. so don't, don't think you you create paradise, paradise on, on earth because it's a recipe of, the, to, to, of this disaster. So don't do that. Mm. But mm. you guys are doing a great job. Okay. Thank you and, so much. And from this, you just told me, even though you are doing non-profit, but you have found a niche that to make money from this, by yes. starting a consulting business. Yes. All right. See, see, this this is the this is the the beauty of doing what you love. Yeah. Okay. See, you have found a business, a, a niche to do business, to sustain mm -hmm. you. Yes. Okay. Doing your own non nonprofit and helping other non-profits and being paid for that yes that's fantastic that is fantastic 